Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 12th, 2023. Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. We had Asian markets that were up across the board, and one of the good news items for those folks over there in Asia is that Shanghai made it just back above that 3000 level on its index. Obviously they're still having major issues, but rallying back up uh, around 3000, that's gonna be kind of a critical level, I think, whether or not that holds or fails at uh, that level. Now, overall, they were mostly um, pretty flat on the day, uh, modest gains, except Hong Kong. Hong Kong did a nice reversal coming back up and trying to recover yesterday's selling up 1.07%. European markets, a little mixed this morning, um, kind of modest gains and losses on that the dax is down footsie's up cac is up only four points so just kind of a mix here this morning there u.s markets were green across the board here this morning really wanting to continue the to drive higher here this morning bulls remain in control and looking uh for some bullishness coming into that uh, data point today and then of course um we have oil oil um, was sharply lower yesterday bounced back up finished the day up and now we're down just a little bit again on oil brent crude being a little bit oil down um, but natural gas is trying to come up out of the depths of despair there on natural gas so if we take a peek at our bonds here this morning our bonds actually turning a little bit lower here this morning just ticking back down they ticked up yesterday ticking back down here this morning heading into that data point uh, for today so what does all this mean well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. A very, very cold Nebraska morning. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's try to shake off our bias and really take a look at what we have going here. Well, first off, you have to notice here in the diamonds, hey, we just had a nice little pop out of this consolidation yesterday. We pushed on through up here, testing this next resistance level and, and kind of hard to see, but right there, right there, we're trying to pop it in the pre-market, trying to pop through that level here this morning. And remember, that is this these resistance highs right here back in 2000. Uh, 22 and 2023 and if we can continue to push through that well the next target is right up here um, so even though we're very stretched out and we're very overbought in so many areas of the market bulls still want to keep buying so watch that closely there is every reason to believe we can stretch right on through that area now if the bears were to come in um, and come back um, on based on data today, then we've got this support area of this little platform we could push back into here. If that were to fail, I'm gonna suggest the lower side of that platform, pushing back into here and failing through there would push us down here to some of these other support levels that you can see across the chart here. That comes all the way back over here to 2023 and 2022, those levels over here uh, for a pullback in the market. Now let's take a look at our SPY, SPY also made that move yesterday, pushing up through that resistance. We just, we didn't have any concern about the deflationary numbers out of China um, at all. And even though we started with a little bit of bearishness in the morning, they just slowly started to reverse that to the upside. Now we did all of this move on relatively low volume levels. The diamonds right at the end of the day or in the last 10 minutes of the day, Day, had a good volume come in based on what the dark pool had to say 
but if you take a look, SPY was relatively weak here on volume, pushing on up here on that weak volume um, as if there was no th nothing in the market to worry about. Uh, pushing through this resistance, which I think is pretty significant, getting up through there, because now we really start to work on these levels up here to see if we can attack some of these high points in the SPY. So target up here would be to push up through this area of the chart see if we can break through there and if we can break through there i'm going to take one of these lines and i'm going to drag it right up there and i'm going to say that would be the next target higher so if we can bang through this here today then I'll look for that next level up here in the spy now if the bears have anything to say today and i'm not sure that they will the way they've been acting then maybe a pushback to retest this support level and if that were to fail maybe coming back in here into this consolidation area to test that beyond that we're looking at testing this support in the chart and then if we take a look at our QQQ, well, our QQQ also found a way to push on up yesterday, pushing through resistance in the chart. And if you look up here, our next resistance is up here at these highs in 2021 and 2022. If we can push up into there, then the last place we've got to get a breakout is stretching all the way up here to um, break out to uh, new um, all-time highs. Um, certainly possible the way the market is acting. Now, if the bears get inspiration today from any of the data, then look for that pullback here that could test this area of price support. A failure here, and I think possibly a pushback into that level of price support. Little little consolidation level in there beyond that we're probably coming back down here if we take a look at our iwm iwm also made a push yesterday but just continues to struggle with this major resistance in the chart so if the bulls find enough inspiration today we'll see if we can make that push through this level here in the chart and then we're moving on up to this next level as you can see up in here now keeping in mind both of these levels are pretty substantial um, so it may take um, some significant effort to make it through there but if they can popping through here may send us right up into that area of the chart now if the bears were to find that inspiration then maybe a pushback we might push back test off the, some of those tops right there if that were to fail possibly down here in that lower area of the chart and failing through there would likely take us back down into here uh, it's a good support level down in here and then who knows we might rest out here to trend um, the bigger side of that trend so keep an eye on iwm if we were to take a look at our vix our vix was interesting yesterday we popped up on a little bit of fear in the morning and then traded back down as if nothing to worry about here in the market pushing back down toward that lower level but even though we went higher our VIX did not go lower yesterday so keep an eye on that we continue to trade in this range bound area of the VIX um, trying to convince everyone that there's nothing in the market to worry about when well, there just might be. We'll wait and see if any of these data points give us any heartburn or not, but um, keep a close eye on the VIX. Um, no worries here unless we break this little downtrend here to the upside. Um, and there's every reason to believe at the moment if the bulls continue uh, to drive forward that we could push on down. This is our next level down here around 11 and a half handles. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, we are extremely elevated. But yesterday, believe it or not, we had more stock selling than we had going up. Uh, the four week new high, new low actually pushed down just a little bit. So we relieved a little tiny bit of that pressure here in the pre market. We're trying to pump to the upside. We'll see if that holds through the open with the data that we have coming. But keeping in mind, we have opened up some upside opportunity to continue this extension to the upside if the bulls find that inspiration in the data today. 
If the Bears happen to find that inspiration in the day-to-day, -day, just kind of keep in mind we've got a big open space down here that we could slide into. And we have lingered here so long, I really am uh, concerned that if we do start selling, there's going to be a lot of folks running for the door at the same time. And it could be pretty quick and pretty painful if that uh, were to begin. But that's yet to be seen. I'm not trying to predict that. I'm just saying we've lingered and lingered and lingered, stretching and stretching here. Um, selling would probably bring in, any selling would probably bring in a lot of profit takers really fast. So watch carefully for that if we happen to get a reversal. And if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 was dead flat yesterday. Not really doing much of anything right in there, 69.5% not really getting any energy now one of the things we do want to watch for is as we if we the bulls can continue to push as we reach up in here we're getting very very frothy in the market very very stretched out but we also have good support levels underneath here so if the bears were to come in and so far they've just not been able to do anything the trend is still very very bullish so we've got good levels in here for this to test um, depending on how the bulls or bears respond to today's data if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 actually did a little bit better yesterday pushing up so the percentage of stocks coming above the 200 day moved a little bit higher back above that 51 percent level in the chart notice that right through here we've got this little price support that we've regained we popped through we lost it and now we're regaining it right now you will want to keep in mind that we have this downtrend to be paying attention to there are resistance levels above in this chart and there are some nice support levels below so just kind of depends on how the market is inspired today from that from that data just kind of take a look at those areas of the chart that could be affected by the way um, right here there is no evidence yet that the bears are taking any advantage at all the bulls are totally in control if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 does show us that that breadth is declining in the market. Even though we continue to rally, the volume was relatively light, and we see that breadth in decline here in um, as we continue to rally. So that is a bit of a problem. If we continue to rally on lowering breadth, that creates an issue for us because we end up with um, kind of that... Um, diversion here between volume and price and as that stretches uh, what it means is that rubber band is being kind of stretched hard to the upside what we want to see if you're a bull is we want to see this breadth starting to turn back up on any kind of a buy wave what you do not want to see is this turning back up on any kind of a sell wave that's what the bears want to see let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be uh, paying attention to here this morning as I'm sure you are, oops, I picked up all of those windows right there, apologize. Um, and here we go, we have got um, for today, we've got NFIB small business optimism this morning. No, no one um, uh, is making any major uh, concern on that. It came in at 90.6, they were looking at 90.9. So it was one tick lower on small business over the last reading, um, probably reflecting that uh, consumer slowdown in the market from NFIB. They're not seeing um, all that optimism coming in. Now, um, CPI, this is going to be the big number of the day. Um, they are looking for 0.0, .0 here on the month over month, looking for 3.1 on the year over year. So that would be a little bit of a uh, decline here on the year over year and flat on the month over month. We're looking at uh, 0.3 on the um, X food and energy, meaning our food and energy prices actually ticked a little bit higher to 0.3, but flat on the year over year at uh, 4.0. So be kind of careful here. These are very tiny moves that they're looking in CPI. It seems like not really so much of a consensus 
estimate but more of a guess as to where this might come in surprise numbers in here could move us pretty substantially either to the upside or downside so be prepared for some volatility this morning in that possibility of a whipsaw then if we take a look we've got quarterly services survey that comes in after that we've got a 30-year bond auction and a treasury statement that nobody is going to probably pay attention to and then we've got for tomorrow um, and we're going to quickly, as soon as we get through this, be thinking about what comes up tomorrow. Mortgage applications, we've got a PPI number, we've got petroleum status, we're going to have the FOMC announcement, and then probably the biggest item of the day is Jerome Powell's comments. Will he be hawkish? Will he be dovish? Who knows? So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar are extremely light. <clears throat> there are a few earnings out there, but the only real notable for today is Johnson Controls. Uh, JCI, looks like we're already trying to pop here this morning um, on Johnson Controls. Keep an eye on that, but that's really the only thing. Everything else is very much a really small cap, um, very little volume in those earnings reports. So watch that closely here. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does. You know, I'm honestly humbled every day. The purpose of these videos um, really started out as to help me years and years ago i did the morning market prep for myself i didn't record a video but i did it every morning because it helped center me for the day it helped focus me on where the dynamics of the market were going to be the things that i had to be watching for as the day went on in uh, data and earnings and those kind of things and that helped me an awfully lot of managing my emotion so I'm always so appreciative when I find um, something that really is non-biased like this without a whole bunch of prediction being supported. So thank you very much. Thank you to those who share these videos out on your social media feed. Thank you so much to those who um, continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. I apologize yesterday. I'm managing two rooms this week and uh, for part of this week anyway, um, helping my partner who's taking some time off. So um, I didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday. There was just quite a few questions. So I'll be back on that case here this morning. So thank you everyone for taking the time to do that. I really do appreciate it when you click that thumbs up button and leave that brief comment. And remember, even an emoji can count. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. We need to be really, really careful here, particularly with the data coming out and realizing that we are very extended. The bulls are completely in control, but we are very extended in that puts us in that risk factor of if the profit taking does begin, just look out because it could move pretty quickly. So that being said, do not blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Follow your trading rules, your trading guidelines. Make sure the risk of a trade fits you personally. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at a few things here. First off, let's take a look at our US dollar. US dollar is pulling back strongly today. We've got those bond yields coming down. So if the US dollar comes down, we would look for some of those commodities to move up. And you know, guess what? Here in the pre-market, we've got gold starting to move back up. We'll probably see a pop-up in silver as well well if that dollar continues to weaken but those aren't really the important commodities that i would be particularly uh concerned about right now i would be looking at other things like um, um oil oil can typically rally on a weakening dollar so watch that closely we can also see food commodities 
um, like wheat and things like that rally on a weakening dollar. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, you might want to take a look at things like um, Archer Daniels ADM, which has been setting up in a pretty nice little consolidation. Pretty choppy, honestly, but we've got this nice little upside trend. And if this were to get some inspiration here and pop out, that's something that you might want to be paying attention to. Also, um, Mosaic might be of interest in here. It's been resting in this consolidating choppy um, area of the market. And I think one of the reasons it's, it's been so volatile, and so choppy is again, the volatility that we've seen in the dollar. So watch that closely breaking that downtrend, trying to move here to the upside. Another place with that sinking dollar and sinking bond yields, take um, again uh, a nice look at some of these uh, bond uh, positions out there that are available TLT looking good here this morning we pushed back found support you see buyers stepped up yesterday it's like we're popping and dropping here in the pre-market but watch that carefully if the bond can, or if the dollar continues to weaken then we might see uh, TLT continue to hold in this nice upside pattern in the chart take a look at BND BND is another very very strong upside mover here bond fund just looking really really good we're getting aggressive in the buying here of bonds now i do think there's a rest or a pullback coming in these um, but if the dollar continues to weaken if those bond yields continue to fall in anticipation of a fed rate cut well you can see what we've got going on here big breaks of downtrends a beautiful potential setup here in bnd uh, jnk maybe something to pay attention to if you uh, like something in the junk bond area breaking through some resistance in here coming back trying to find some support keep a close eye on jnk that's trying to make some nice upside moves you might want to take a look at um, some of the things in some of the defensive sector stocks take a look at international paper international paper breaking this major downtrend here in the chart nice little resting pattern you can see i've put a price alert in here i'm looking for that opportunity that that might push on through here in that chart um, watching that one closely you might want to take a look at um all of a sudden i just lost the ticker in my um senior moment brain here i guess let's go ahead and continue to move on take a look at um i mentioned paypal um yesterday and paypal tried to make that move um, early on in the day try to pop right in here we've got this nice upside trend coming up out of this bottom look for that next opportunity here to see if paypal can pop up through this resistance and then we can start looking for some nice um, upside um, opportunities in there um, take a look at coke coke squeezed hard yesterday boy it just couldn't get a whole lot of momentum or energy yesterday but the entire market couldn't and you can see we tried to pop through this little resistance here in the chart keep an eye on coca-cola trying to push on up again one of those defensive areas of the market trying to push on through here take a look at utilities utilities also nice bullish engulfing candle yesterday a little bit of a morning star type pattern holding some support in here you might want to look to those utilities because we do see a little bit of a rotation into more of a safety type um, market and um, dividend paying type market so watch that close um, KHC is another example of those defensive sector stocks just really ripping to the upside, breaking through some resistance here. I think this needs a rest or consolidation, but the way we're um, handling the market right now is when something is a buy, you just keep buying it. You don't think about it. You just keep buying it. So I think we're stretched. We need a little rest or pullback. I'm not going to be chasing it here, but any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity, I think, in KHC. We're also seeing some stocks um, come back up and regain um, just a little bit of this recent sell-off, um, LVS running up here to resistance in the chart. Now, I would be watching charts like this with a little bit of concern, that possibility that we could smack our head into this resistance after breaking support and end up turning around and going short. But if you look at 
uh, Penn National. Penn National is trying to recover that resistance here in the chart. So we broke down, really surged big time up here. Look for a little rest or pull back in here to see if that can hold. Um, on the retail side, my goodness, we had an ugly result from our earnings report. We gapped lower on our earnings on Lulu and then it was just immediately bought up and continued to stretch yesterday. So now we're through all time highs here in Lulu. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. And I think one of the best looking charts that um, I saw yesterday was Etsy. We identified this early um, in the day, somewhere right in here, and that just continued to stretch on up following the trend looking beautiful watch carefully this could stretch on higher i wouldn't be at all surprised as we're dealing with some of this resistance um, area over here that we get a little pullback or rest but as long as we hold that trend that's looking good there in etsy so there's quite a few stocks for you to look at today a few things for you to pay attention to i want to wish you guys all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here thanks so much for listening i do appreciate it y'all be careful be safe have a great trading day and we'll see you back here bright and early wednesday morning as always wishing you all the very very best take care everybody.